The last time the Canadian men's national team played in a FIFA World Cup, Top Gun was Hollywood's top-earning movie. Lionel Richie was top of the charts. Brian Mulroney was prime minister. And a Big Mac cost $1.60. A lot has changed since 1986, and so is soccer in this country. Let's get to know the faces that are taking Canada back to the World Cup. Alfonso Davies, are you kidding me? Alfonso Davies is the most recognizable Canadian athlete on the planet. Since leaving the Vancouver Whitecaps as a 17-year-old forward, the Edmonton native has transformed into one of the best left backs in the world at German Giants Bayern Munich. Nicknamed Fonzie, He's won the UEFA Champions League, three German Bundesliga titles, and the FIFA Club World Cup. Now just 21, he's already got 10 club trophies in the cabinet, is one of the fastest players in the world, and a social media sensation. Oh my days, what a touch! Oh, what a golazo! Johnny! No! Jonathan David has been a goal-scoring sensation since leaving his hometown of Ottawa at the age of 18. David helped his club Lille dethrone Paris Saint-Germain to win France's Ligue 1 last season and is destined to make a big money transfer this summer. No one has played more games for the men's national team than Atiba Hutchinson. And even at 39 years of age, the Brampton native is a key part of Canada's midfield attack. 19 years after making his national team debut, he's expected to captain Canada in Qatar. His Besiktas teammate, Kyle Lahren, became the Canadian men's team's all-time leading scorer, surpassing the great Dwayne De Rosario with his goal against the USA at Tim Hortons Field this past January. 23-year-old winger Tejan Buchanan just started playing for the national team last year, but he's already become a bona fide starter and earned a big money move from Major League Soccer's New England Revolution to Belgian club Bruges last summer. He'll be chasing down passes from Leamington, Ontario's Steven Estacchio, who has become one of Canada's most important midfielders and joined Portuguese giants FC Porto this winter. Defender Sam Atacubi jumped up the pecking order in this qualification round and jumped into Canadian hearts in Edmonton. Goalkeeper Milan Borian leads the emotional post-match celebrations. What a f***ing game! <laughs> this is how you leave your heart for this shirt. Let's go get it! He backstopped Canada to historic wins over Mexico and Costa Rica at Commonwealth Stadium and over the USA in his hometown of Hamilton. In front of the man with the gloves, 35-year-old Stephen Vitoria, who captained Portugal at the 2007 Under-20 World Cup held in Canada, will champion Canada's defense alongside former Toronto FC fullback Richie Larea and CF Montreal right back Alistair Johnston. Brampton, Ontario's Junior Hoylet gives Canada another attacking threat on the wing. Toronto FC midfielder Jonathan Azorio is one of just two Canadian men to ever score at Mexico's famed Estadio Azteca. And along with midfielder Mark anthony Kay and Vancouver Whitecaps striker Lucas Cavallini is part of a strong MLS group that shows just how much America's league coming north has benefited the national program. And the man calling the shots, usually with one AirPod in his ear, is John Herdman. The 46-year-old Englishman took the women's national team to two Olympic podiums. And now, in the same year that the Top Gun sequel will finally be released, he's taking the men's team to the World Cup in Qatar.